Hickey Rose, what do you say? What do you know? This is Nikki for coming at you. Okay, this is kind of like a two-part video. All right, uh, the one part of the video is if you're looking to put together an amp rack for your keyboard ring, all right, this is a cool system to go with, all right. Then the other part, which is the main part of the video, is that with my current health situation, um, with the arthritis and stuff, I can't carry a lot of heavy gear, all right. And uh, those of you who've been watching my videos, you've seen the big rack I was using out, which was made with uh, three-quarter inch plywood. Uh, the turkey was heavy, and this rack must have been 40 pounds, man. And all it had, it had a, it had a Mackie board and a drawer and a, uh, a, um, a Digitech vocal unit in it. All right. Well, what I did was... I'm having more fun in my man cave, and, and then plus, my band exactly hasn't been really serious. Hold on a minute. Let me grab it. Let me get a little more, more comfortable here. And uh, so, the band's not playing a lot, and uh, so they have my vocal unit in my rack, and um, it, it, it would get more use in my man cave, all right? Because I used to put it in all my recordings and everything, and so what I did was I built a new rack. Um, well, actually, I built this rack a long time ago, and I just moved back in it. All right, and um, and this thing's light. All right, this thing is probably, and it, it's got a smaller mixer in it and everything. So I'm gonna move the camera up and show you guys what I did. Camera. All right. So this is a smaller. Get some more direct light on it. There we go. All right. What I like to do is I like to have as much stuff pre-wired as possible. All right. So basically, when you take the cover off of this. Um, your audio cables are already hooked up, all right? And since I use three keyboards, um, these, are our, these are my audio cables. And I kind of do it kind of easy, like red, white, and blue, colors of the American flag, all right? So the first keyboard's red, second keyboard's white, and the last keyboard's blue, all right? And that's the way I have everything rigged up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a system test, and we're gonna make sure everything works, all right? now. What um, what this um, cut down version of the rig will be is will be this Yamaha MG 10XU mixer, all right, and a Mackie power cabinet, all right. This is a 1300 watt cabinet, all right. So let's just hook everything up, and we're going to test everything and make sure everything works. So this is the cable coming out of the Mackie cabinet. And let's hook this in here. All right. And uh, and I have this mounted on a switch. All right. All right. So we got that going on. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna test each each jack. So um, we'll we'll test the first one. And we're going to use this uh, Yamaha keyboard. This is a test keyboard. I use. I just keep in the shop for testing stuff. All right. So, um, so red will be the first test. We're just going to test all the cables. Make sure everything's going to work. Okay, bring up the master. Okay, red works. And 
One other thing um, that I always do, since I'm a lead vocalist, um, when I was using the Digitech unit, I was able to, um, my harmonizer would monitor through this cabinet, all right? Then it would go out to the house. So in essence, I was using my keyboard cabinet as my vocal monitor. All right. Now during the 80s, I came up with this and I, I made a box, all right, um, where you can split your mic. I make these and sell these if you guys are interested, all right. What it is, it's a splitter, all right. So this end here will plug into here, all right. So this goes into your channel one, all right. And uh, here, let's do, the, do it this way so I can have some room here. And... Uh, There we go. All right. Um, let's grab my mic. All right. And. We have a cable here. All right. So my mic would plug into here. All right. And then what you would do, you would plug your mic into the box. Okay, and technically, this should work, which it does. All right, now, now this is my personal monitor for myself, so I could bring the volume up or down or whatever. All right, now, then we'll just take this out. We're going to test the other end of this, which will go this in here. I'll explain this a little better. I'm just going to do complete the test here. Check one, two. Okay, it works. Okay. All right. I still know my shit when it comes to wiring, guys. Okay, now let me explain this all to you. Let me, uh... A happy cord is a wrapped up cord. Okay. The way this works is your microphone, your vocal mic, plugs into here, okay? This goes into your mixer, all right? And now you can monitor, you can monitor your vocal. Then you run another mic cord into this, and this goes to the house as your main vocal, all right? So basically all you're doing is splitting the signal, so you can monitor to it through your keyboard cabinet. All right. If you guys are interested in anything like that, I make these. Um, I really don't know what you people are using today, but that's one way to monitor monitor yourself uh, by just using your keyboard cabinet. And uh, if you're anything like me, I don't trust song guys because why? I'm a keyboard player, and they never give us our due. You know, they never give us the right amount of volume. Why? Because they're buttheads. And I'm looking for something. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, song guys, there are more to life than just guitars. All right? There are keyboards. Keyboards give you strings, horns synthesizers, pianos, and organs. You know, we're one guy, but we make the sound of eight. You know, put us through the mix. Like, come on, what's the deal? But anyway, um, 
this is the new rack that I'm going to be using out with the band. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to have the vocal harmonies, um, but hey, man, the band ain't playing that much anymore, and um, I don't know. Uh, these guys don't seem to be serious anymore. They, uh, I can't even remember the last time we had a practice, so I might as well just keep my vocal harmony. I mean, it's an it's an expensive unit. And I paid a lot of money for that thing. It's a full 19-inch rock mount. But anyway, um, now I know if I get caught out on the gig, I got a rig to go out with. All right? And this thing is very light. I mean, it's very light. I couldn't do that with the other rack. That other rack was so damn heavy. And uh, so when you get older, guys, you know, you have to do what you got to do to cut down on weight. Another thing I added, too, that the other racks I ever had, I added an on and off switch um, for my lights. And I'm going to just show you something real quick on the back of this, which is pretty cool. Let me get rid of these mic cables. I put them back in the bag, man. Because if I don't, they may not ever get back in the bag. All right. So uh, one thing that's cool is, you know, my everything's pre-wired. So I just take the top off, and I got my audio cables. And all I got to do is just unplug this, because this jack is just too long. All right. Put the microphone back in there. All right. But what I did on this is... I need to unplug this little cable here. There we go. All right. Um... See that yeah so I just got a regular cable that plugs in here with an on and off switch all right so this is all flat for when I move it I got a couple extra plugs here if I need them and they're in the back all right everything's velcroed down so so that is the new rig to go play out with and also, if you guys are looking for a good type of speaker system, you know, a mixer with a power cabinet, it's the way to go. Um, I do like, however, I like my, my Mackie mixer better than the Yamaha um, because the Mackie is more forgiving than the Yamaha. This is a real precise mixer, and a lot of times you're going to be hitting the DV pads because the signals are so hot. Okay, guys, um, this is my video. God bless. See you when I see you.